everybody it's Georgia back again with a another eye look for you guys um, I've been away for a while not doing many for a while but um, so this is just a everyday look I just chucked on a little bit more flow and all that type of stuff um, so I'm gonna be taking the uh, two Venus uh, XS palettes the one in the solid gold and then the one in the rose gold. Um, as you guys can see, this palette's absolutely stunning. The color payout is absolutely beautiful. So I will swatch the rose gold one for you. So that little taupey color that I've just dipped into, which is this one here, I'll swatch it for you guys. That's it, swatched. The next shade is that really nice glittery shade, which is this one. That one is absolutely stunning. The next color is this other little shimmery one here. Calm through though. And then the last shade is this kind of like darky kind of subtly looking one. Oh, these um, formulas are just like butter. So that is the rose gold done. Swatched. So the, um, that was the rose gold palette. I hope you guys saw that the pigments are super gorgeous. Um, and they do have names, so Angelic, Divinity, Charm, and Eternal for the Rose Gold palette. As you guys can see, it's basically just a full shadow kind of pan. So let's go in with um, one of my other favorites. Uh, this is, these are from their Christmas collection. So I've done the silver one for you guys. As you guys, I will leave the link to the silver one down below for you guys, so you guys can actually check the silver one out. Um, so the next palette is the Solid Gold palette. Again, same kind of concept, um, pretty much the same. We've got some like pretty decoration on it. Of course, Lime Crime make the cutest palettes. Oh no, my cat's being weird, sorry. <laughs> so let me show you the Solid Gold. Now, this is another one of my favorites. I just, I kind of like the tones. So let's go dig into it. So the first color is this super nice matte brown. Which is this color here. The next shade is this really nice white shade, and I think this white shade is called, oh, I don't know when, it's really hard to see the, see the uh, name on it. So this is like a really nice um, white, kind of gold, kind of yellow gold. The next shade is this darky kind of this solid gold kind of color which is stunning which I'll swatch right here as you guys can see it's got some gold flex in it oh, so cute the next the last color is this one right here which is this dark brown with some gold kind of flex in it um, and I'll swatch that for you guys and that's it there. As you guys can see, if you look on my finger, there is some kind of gold kind of chunks in it. So that is the gold palette swatched. Now time to do the eye look. So I'm going to do one side solid gold and then one side rose gold, as you guys have already seen. Now time to ram these eyes. So usually I take either a... Um, Concealer, primer, whatever you have basically on you, you can use. I like to just use any concealer and I'm just using the 
Maybelline Super Stay Light Skin Perfection Concealer, which is just this little baby here. Um, they've designed new packages for this kind of product. I haven't used it for a while. I just like to try my eyes with it. Just so we've got basically a clear little slate just to apply these colors on without going crazy as you guys can probably tell that anything that you stick on your eyes will give it like a base. You can even pick up a primer and do it as well. Entirely up to you. I do it anyway. I do it with a concealer, a primer, whatever I have handy on me at the time because, you know, typical lazy person. Well, not lazy, just like to do it that way. So I'm going to take a couple of my brushes and hope that I don't chip this cute ass little mermaid mug that is holding my brushes. Um, as you guys can probably see, I have some really cool brushes in this collection. So I've got like brushes with like little leaves and then we've kind of got these little cool brushes um, too. You know, I'm very into brushes. I will never know. I've got some wet and wild ones who are sitting. I've got like these ones I basically bought on eBay. Some of them I bought on eBay. Some of them I bought on AliExpress. They were cheap, they were affordable, and they are super soft. Their bristles are freaking amazing. Um, so let's go in uh, with the rose gold one. Maybe we should do rose gold on one of the eyes. So I'm going to put down that taupey kind of colour and then I'm just going to focus it on my eyelid, under my brow bone, under my brow, on my brow bone, not on my brow bone, like on my eyelid, like the top of my eyelid. I'm going to focus that on. Then I'm going to take the other matte shade because there's two matte shades in that and I'm going to take other matte shade and I'm going to drag um, this matte shade here on top as well just because I kind of want to keep the um, glitter pigments with the glitter pigments and the mattes with the mattes just to create a look with these two palettes for you guys just so you guys can see that I do have the gold palette and the solid gold palette. Now I just use no pigment with this and then I just go over and like blend it in. If you guys are afraid to blend it in, just buy a blending brush because it really works like a charm. See like if you blend it out enough you'll get the desired um, ideal Kind of things you're going for. Okay. Now he's on to the glitter shades. So I'm not going to put any primer down. I'm just going to basically take this glitter shade right here. Yeah, I like to use my fingers. See? And then we're going to take that other glitter shade, which is this one here, and I'm just going to put that on the outer corner and kind of try and blend them together. See what I mean about pigment? with these palettes like they're absolutely stunning check that out um and then sometimes I like to grab a little bit of that shadow 
and just pop it into the inner corner. Yeah, so that's the rose gold side done. Now it's time for the gold side. So again, I'm going to do all the same things I did. Um, I'm going to probably take the same brush. This is just a leaf brush that I picked up. I think it was like eBay or something. It was fairly cheap. Um, and I just sort of went, oh, I'll just pick that up. So I'm going to dip into this matte shade again. I'm just going to put dip into this one. You can blow the access out if you want to as well. Entirely, you don't have to. And then you just sort of blend that out as well. I'm going to take some of that darker brown with the gold sucks it up. I'm just going to darken that a little bit. And kind of blend it. As you guys can see, it's very much a on its own and see I just kind of blend it out I try to make sure not to get my brow but I find that this says a little bit more on my brow than the other side but okay that looks like it's the desired little specify that I want so I'm going to go and use that really nice whitey colour. I'm going to put that and then I'm going to take that really nice solid kind of gold colour which is this one right here and put that on the outside of my eye because we're going with then I'll grab that little brush again and then just do the inner corner with the white just to give it more of a pop of color Now it's time to just use, I might add a little bit more of this glitter, there we go, and now it's time to do the liner. So I just put on the um, Australia's Eyegasm eyeliner, this guy I've had for quite a while, so um, a lot of it's rubbed off, but I swear to honest god that this is the Eyegasm um, liner, I would not lie. Um, now I'm going to grab the Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk from NYX, and I'm just going to line my little line with a white one just to make my uh, waterline look bigger okay now I'm going to chuck on some mascara and I think I'm gonna go in with the Australia's Mega Lash mascara this one I've had for a while um, they actually have a new one out that looks really tempted I'm really tempted it's really tempting to go pick it up. It's called, oh jeez, I forgot what it's called. I think it's called like, Snake It or something. I 
And then they also have like a tiny little skinny one too that like gets into like all the little flashes that you can't get to, which is a great idea. Just as somebody who doesn't wear fake lashes, I think that's a brilliant idea. Sometimes I snag my mascara too. So that is the mascara done. Um, basically, I'm just gonna sort of break down what I use for my highlighter on my face. So the uh, two products that I used for my foundation was the NYX Mineral Stick Foundation, and I just used the shade uh, Porcelain, which as you guys can see, it's just like a wind up sticky thing. Um, this blends out super great. And then I also picked, uh, I also got given this by NYX, um, it was the, was the, um, caramel one, which I th think, oh, I got mixed up and put the sticks on the, top on the wrong sticks. So this one is just like the darker shade and I just use this as like my contour here and here and like here and then on my nose. So I used this as a contour, I don't contour much, so when I do it's very rare. Um, I also used the Revolution HD um, powder contour, which is really cool because this is like really soft and subtle. I actually got given this as a gift from them. Um, and then I also used the, what did I use? I used the Lamb Crown uh, Opals palette over the top of it just to give it some more of a sheen like a glitter and then I also used a liquid strobe highlighter from Glitter Girl um I think it's uh, I forgot what the color name is but that's what I used and then I just set it all with like a powder like a translucent powder um and that was about it now to finish off doing um my lips I don't know should we go for something bold, or should we go for something pretty but very glittery? Well, do we go the old traditional way and go an NYX lingerie one? Let's, let's see. Do we go a Gerard Cosmetics one in the shade Gravity? Do we go... Do we go London, London in the soft matte metallic? Or do we just go a plain lip colour in the shade corset? Let's just do a nude lip because we have got this gold thing going. Maybe we should do like a nude lip or something. That is the finished look. Don't forget to um, like and subscribe my channel. Don't forget to tell me what you liked about this look. Um, don't forget to also go and check out the silver um, Venus XS palette. Um, I did a look on that. I will leave that 
pull down below for you guys. Um, yeah, and have a nice night slash day or whatever time it is where you guys are. Um, I love creating content for you guys. It's so much fun. Um, when I get the time, I do love to create content. Um, as you guys can see, I'm trying to change my colour as we speak. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys and thank you for watching and see you guys on the next tutorial. Thank you guys. Have a nice time.